Now that our test uh, and framework has been initialized using the codecepts init command, we are going to generate a test and then we will add some meat to it. So let's begin with reminding ourselves about the command line of codecept.js. If you can see, there is a generate test uh, command that we will use now. It will be, oops, my mistake, I need to type gt. The test will be placed in the test directory that I have specified. The file name of a test will be, we will just call it a simple one. Feature being tested is the simple webmail system login page. And now under tests, I have a new file that was generated. So let us get first some things established. First of all, we want to know which URL we're going to. We're going to set that to a variable here. So it's URL equal. Another thing that is important to us, when we come to this page, we will want to validate it, make sure that the correct page has loaded and that uh, all of its elements are present. Of course, it's difficult to verify all elements, so we will just pick one element. This is a login page. We want to make sure this login, this sign-in form appears. Let us switch to the inspect view of the web browser and take a look at what we may be able to use to make sure that it's present. We see a div with an ID, sign and title, but that's not exactly what we need. Let's go a little bit up. We have div with class sign and box and div with ID sign in section. It looks like this div is specifically there to provide a containment for sign in. So what we will do, we will copy this ID and then we will put into a variable a CSS select, selection string. Uh, so this is our sign-in form. And we say that it's a div with ID sign-in section. So now we begin our test with I am on page, which actually does the navigation to the page which instructs the web browser to navigate to that page. Which page? And pass it the URL that I have set above. Then I need to validate that I am on, the, on this page. I first I do I, I believe there's URL contains. See in current, I see in current URL. I see in current URL. The URL needs to contain substring webmail. This is the first test, the first check of our validation. Then we also want to make sure that I see element. Which element? The sign-in form. So I pass it the CSS selector for the sign-in form so that I would make sure that it's actually on the screen. We're going to save this test. We're going to go back to our shell, clear the screen, and remind ourselves of how to use codecept.js, the command line. We see that there is a command run. It will execute all tests. Right now, we only have one test, so let us watch it run. We'll run it. The browser does not open because uh, it is configured currently to be headless. Our test has passed. I wonder if there is a way for us to take a look at how the test is actually running in the web browser. Let's go to concept.json. There is a puppeteer, pup helpers configuration for puppeteer. Let's try show on true. 
Let's try to run this again and see if we're going to, if it's going to pop up a web browser for us. Yes, indeed, it popped up a web browser, but it, <laughs> everything ran so fast, and it also hid behind my shell.